Yo, what up? Have you ever wanted to capture that smell of Saturday mornings, you know, when you're a kid and you'd run downstairs, eat cereal and watch cartoons? Well, I captured that smell, so I've made a cereal bowl candle and I'm about to show you how I did it, so let's get to it. So for the first bit of this cereal bowl candle, I needed to make some, like, cereal molds basically like a mold for the syrup pieces so i grabbed some of my like honey hoops and put them in the bottom of this tupperware and then i used this like reuser mold to make the mold basically this is a really cool thing you can put it in the microwave and you can reuse it i think around 20 times and also it's food safe so i'll put a link in the description to that and i have to admit the first time i did it it was a massive mess because as soon as i'd melted this stuff i poured it straight over the cereal hoops and they all floated to the top so the next time I did it I let it cool slightly so that's why it's like quite sticky as you can see here but it worked out perfectly and then I put that to the side to cool down and then for the candles I'm using these like really small bowls so I did some research on candle making I've never really done it before I've only ever like melted down a candle and then just like reformed it so you need to do double like the amount that your container holds so I did a rough version of this because I wanted some space for like the cereal pieces on the top. I'll put a link in the description. I cannot remember the name of the video I watched of the YouTuber, but I will put a link in the description so you can check that out below. So I just want to give a shout out to Sherry Vegas. That's the YouTuber who I found like the full candle making process video from. There is a link in the description. And also while I have your attention here, let me know in the comments what your favorite cereal is. I'd love to know and then I put my wax in like a double boiler and melted it all down so I got this all in a kit um, like wax, the double boiler, some sticks, some dye chips as well to like colour your wax and I also got some scents in there as well not the scent I'm going to be using in this video but I will leave a link in the description and I also got the wicks and these sticky things to put the wick on the bottom um, of your candle and along with these holders so these holders will just make sure when you pour your wax in that your wick will stay straight and I didn't have enough so I grabbed like these two like lollipop sticks to go either side of the wick and then I just taped the end to keep it together so I made around six for this video as I accidentally bought a lot of these bowls I ended up with 12 when I thought I was gonna get two so I didn't really read the description correctly but once my wax had cooled down a bit to 45 degrees celsius I added in this oat milk and honey scent so I actually used the whole bottle you need a lot I didn't realize how much but I think I put about half of what was recommended but they still smell quite strong so that's okay and then I moved on to kind of just warming up my candle holders and here are the spoons that I'll be using as well so basically it's advised to kind of like have a warm-ish candle holders or your wax can kind of come away from the edge when you pour it in and then when it cools back down um, I kind of filled them about a third of the way with my wax and then I put these little spoons in to make it look like it's actual like cereal so these bowls are so tiny I think they're about nine centimeters and then these spoons are espresso spoons so it's quite a small candle and then I just top them up I then moved on to making all the cereal pieces so that's a blue dye chip you can see I added into my wax and I just mix that in thoroughly until the whole chip had kind of dissolved so it does look darker but then when you pour it out it hardens and it does go a bit lighter so I grabbed my mold and I basically pulled this away from the bottom of my Tupperware and then I proceeded to basically remove all of the like cereal uh, pieces that I used so this mold was quite cool um, it did start to fall apart because I did around four colors I think and towards the end some of the middle parts were like coming away because it's not like a proper silicone mold as you can like remelt it and reform it so if I was this again I might try and like get one of those silicone molds to make it so I'm using a pipette here just to kind of like fill up the molds for the cereal pieces and my wax I can see it there it was around 50 degrees celsius so it's not boiling 
otherwise it would probably end up melting my pipette because that's made of plastic as well so I just like filled up all my cavities and I did this with a few other colours and they cooled quite quickly because they're so small um, I did actually stick this in the fridge a couple of times as well just to speed up the process and they seem to be okay as well um, but I was really really impressed with this and um, when they came out they had all the same like grooves and bumps as like an actual cereal piece has so I was really really pleased with that and when I looked online I couldn't actually find a mold for like cereal pieces I guess it's not really a common thing so yeah that's the main reason why I made mine and here are like the colours I did they're really like weird colours I guess they're like Fruit Loops in America we don't really get those in the UK and to add the like cereal pieces on I just grabbed my heat gun that I used earlier to kind of melt the top layer of wax and then I quickly proceeded to put my cereal pieces on the top so you have to work quite quickly here because the wax will like harden pretty fast it, it stays like a bit soft so that's why I'm kind of just pressing it and making sure it's like stuck but that is basically the whole process and then you simply need to cut the wick down so as you can see here I'm just removing the holder and just snipping the wick and then the candle is basically done so yeah here is the final candle I have one in my hand it actually smells really good um, even though I used around say 50% of the recommended like scent but I'm so happy with it and I actually burnt one around half of it and it lasted around 10 hours so I was quite surprised for like quite a small candle you can kind of see it in my hand so yeah I hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more see you next time bye